YouTube. It's good to see you guys. Today, I want to share with you my experience buying MFK game calls. Uh, they have a channel here on YouTube as well, and uh, they have great videos. You should check them out. They do a lot of hunting. Uh, I plan to do some videos about hunting, so I wanted to see where I could get some good gear and uh, make it a really good experience for us when, when I take you guys hunting with me. So I got from them some diaphragm calls. Uh, tonight, I'm just going to try and howl. This is the first time I try to howl. So I know a lot of people are curious about the diaphragm game calls. And um, they're not so sure if they can do it or not. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my experience trying to get started with diaphragms. This is I've never even put one in my mouth. So... I got them here. This is the package they came in. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got the cow horn for some amplification and uh, one of their kits with several calls. And uh, I'm just going to try to howl. They say that uh, if you get any noise out of one of these things on your first try, you're doing pretty good. So I'm going to see if I can even make some noise with this thing. I'm trying to remember the instructions that they had. Uh, they have some instructional videos on their website and uh, on YouTube. They have some instructional videos. I watched them and hopefully I'll be able to get something out of it tonight. And, uh, you know, if anything, this will be probably one of few videos about someone's first experience trying to use one of these things. So we'll see how successful or unsuccessful that turns out to be. This one's got two reeds. I think I have a single reed howler. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look these things up, see which one I ought to try first, and I'll be right back with you guys. I'm gonna pop one of these in and you know try and make a good howl. These are calls uh, primarily for coyote hunting. I'm going to do some coyote hunting with you guys in the near future. And I heard uh, from a lot of sources that this is really good gear. A lot of people recognize this as some of the best calls you can buy. I'm also going to invest in an Icotech uh, or perhaps a Fox Pro, uh, one of the two, uh, with MFK sounds. Because you can buy either one with MFK sounds on it. So uh, tonight, I'm just going to give it a, a whirl with the howl. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright guys. <clears throat> I just figured out what kind of calls I had. And I don't understand what I was thinking. But I went ahead and, and picked up the howler. Uh, the howler set instead of the starter set. So I don't know how much more difficult that's going to make things for me. But I'm going to go ahead and try and use the, the pup howler. This is a two read pup howler. And uh, I'm not going to go over the instructions. Being that I'm a novice, you're better off watching MFK's instructions. So if you go to MFK's page, they've got good instructions. Listen to those guys. Those guys are very seasoned at this. They've actually won competitions doing this stuff. So I'm not going to try and teach you how to do it. I'm just going to go ahead and, and take my shot at it. Uh, for your entertainment. So here goes nothing. Alright, I got some sound out of it, so that's a good sign. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep at it and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. They also say if you're going to try this stuff out for the first time and you want to practice, uh, record yourself. Whether you video or audio it, you should record yourself so that you can really see what you sound like, uh, you know, out there. So, well, I'm off to an okay start. I guess I made some noise. Let's see, let's see if I can uh, make this thing happen.
I guess this is a bit more advanced. <laughs> I'll have to see about using the horn once I really get the hang of this thing. Um, when it's in your mouth, I don't, you know, when you're new at it, I don't think you really have an idea if you're doing a good job or not. So it's going to be really interesting when I play back this tape and, and see, you know, what the hell I'm doing here. But, um, yeah, I mean, they have some good uh, instructions online. They have good instructions on how to uh, maintain these, how to store these so that they, they last a good long time. And uh, I recommend you go on there and you check it out. I mean, I just put this thing in my mouth for the first time and I made some, some noise uh, because I, I listened to their instructions. So um, I'm going to keep at it. It may get better, it may not. Um, we're going to go through it together on my channel, um, you know, all of us here. And uh, I'm just going to keep going, keep recording, and I'll give you guys the highlights. When you're new at this, I don't think you should probably eat too much before you do this. <laughs> mm. I think I did a better job uh, on my first go-round. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot with the other howlers and see if I can decipher any kind of difference uh, with what I've been doing. Uh, when you're done with these, you want to rinse them off with water and uh, let them soak in some mouthwash for a little bit. I forget exactly how long. The MFK guys did a much better job at what I'm doing. So, you know, go see them for how long you leave it in the mouthwash. And they say to punch some holes in your box, throw your howlers in there after you've soaked them in your mouthwash and washed them off with water before you soak them. You know, stick them in here with your holes punched and throw that in the refrigerator and you'll be good to go uh, for an indefinite period from what I understand. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try all of these and see if, uh, you know, my novice skills, you know, if there's any difference between any of these, even with my very limited skills here. Can't wait to go hunting with you guys. I don't know, I don't know exactly what I want to take. I've got a, a bunch of options, uh, what I can take out there to do the shooting with, but, um, you know, it's either going to be a Stoger or a, or a Remington 870. I got a couple Remington 870s and a Stoger. Um, in my state, I can use uh, center fire cartridges. So I'm going to go ahead and see about maybe just doing some 223, 556 five, rounds. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try the, the four read. Let's see how it goes with the four read howler. Yeah, I think I'm doing something not quite correct. 
Um, I want to see if I can get some advice from somebody who's done this stuff before. I, I know there's something going on with my howling. Um, doesn't sound right to me. I'm going to play back the tape and I'll, maybe I'll see if it sounds better, but I don't know. I mean, I mean, they said if you can make a sound with these things, you're on the right track and you just got to practice. So I'm going to keep putting, you know, I'm going to keep recording, I'm going to keep practicing, and we'll see, you know, what exactly I show you guys on my first stab at these things. Um, they're loud. Uh, you know, they're definitely loud. I'll, uh, I'll keep uh, trying to make it happen. So four reed howler. Um, I'm definitely gonna see if I get my hands on the uh, the famous howling mofo. Apparently, the howling mofo is the king of the howlers. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try. I tried the the two reed pup first. Then I tried the the four reed howler, and now I'm trying. The three reed howler. send a burst through there, you you know, you follow the instructions as per MFK, and you send a nice burst of air through there, and uh, barking isn't, isn't too difficult. somebody 
to review my videos and tell me what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, um, I'd appreciate it because I, you know, I want to get good at this, um, you know, so I can run out there with these diaphragms and my Icotec, you know, call them in and, and shoot them, hit them with the number four. So number fours, you know, right in the face, maybe some uh, M193 right in the chest. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep on until I get tired of it. And uh, we'll see uh, what I decide to share with you guys. Uh, and uh, if anybody out there has experience with these things, I'd appreciate it if you could give me some pointers. Yeah, the guys at MFK, <laughs> the guys at MFK were saying that it does require more air pressure to run the, the multi reads, and I noticed that four read really does uh, uh, take it to you if you're new at it. You know, the four read isn't all that easy to work.
Um, anybody who knows how to do this stuff, if they can give me some pointers after listening to this video, uh, feel free to throw some comments or, or uh, hit me up on the PM. So, um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate your company.